Good morning, everyone. Strife Gal. This is uh, the end of Mario Lost Levels. World D. And go till we're done. I'm terrified. Apparently I have every right to be. We're starting off strong. That. <laughs> I, there was not a whole lot I could do right there. Trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go here, or what I can actually do with that. There we go. I'm not looking forward to doing that every time I die. I realize there's a simple solution to this, which is not die. Uh, but I've also been playing Mario Lost Levels for the last week or so, and... I realize how silly that statement is. So if you're not seeing, you can't make that... I don't think you can make that jump from the front. I think you have to hit the Koopa Troopa from the side like that. Uh, which is not easy. That's actually not as hard of a jump as I thought it was. I was really close, and then I bumped. I think you can get up on top there. need to draw back a little bit more to get that Koopa Troopa. <laughs> um, I've mentioned a couple times that I just want to really emphasize uh, for those who are just joining for the first time. Um, the Lost Levels in general, uh, the levels are set up in a way that is not necessarily what you'd assume. And as the Lost Levels has gone on, and we've gotten into these bonus levels, there have been a lot of points where um, enemies that normally behave in a certain way kind of change slightly. It's not substantial, but all the buzzy beetles move a little faster. Um, the cannons fire faster. The Hammer Brothers move in a different way. They move forward. Which makes it very, very difficult to wait and run under them when they jump. <laughs> Especially when there's two. Like, literally, I'm going to be sitting here just trying to get past these guys a lot. I think if I hold... It seems like if I hold run... It was working, but then it stopped. So I don't know where or how this RNG works. Uh, RNG, for those who are not familiar, is randomly generated numbers, or random number generator. Um, so a lot of things in Mario are programmed. Like, I mean, everything is programmed, but there's a lot of things that happen on a set pattern. And I need to stop doing that. I really need to stop jumping for that and just go under and wait. It's one of the reasons... Uh, so yeah, the random... Or the lack of randomness is one of the reasons that you can play Mario games so quickly if you're familiar with them. Um... You can really like you can basically go through the original Mario games pretty much full run if you know where all the enemies spawn. And the few exceptions are things 
like hammers and Bowser fine. Um, for the most part. But everything else is on a very specific timer. <sighs> yeah, that one hammer brother being low just keeps throwing me off, and I'm not sure what the difference is, but I'm doing differently. So, when you get to things like this, the fact that they're... the place that they spawn seems to be random. I am literally starting off the level holding forward and run, which means that it should react the same way every time. It should spawn the same way. But there's something that's causing it to be a random factor. Um, the... genuinely just not sure how to deal with the other hammer brother <laughs> outside of maybe try and find a I haven't tried going down any of these pipes nope so yeah this feels like I'm just kind of screwed or I can wait and just let him fall to his death good to know Literally, no power-ups. Random wind for one little section there. That one wasn't too long, which is good. Um, it had a lot of little challenging sections, mostly just dealing with uh, him and brother RNG. It's okay, it happens. Um, that was a really weird jump that I got a lot of height on. Why am I kind of suspecting that this is where I need to go? of the fact that Lost Levels has conditioned me to assume the worst. Be that bad if I had a mushroom, but I don't think I'm getting mushrooms at this point. Hesitated too long. felt really good. That felt smooth. And then I hit the stairs. That just kind of throws it back off, but yeah. I have talked multiple times about that kind of groove that you get into. Seriously? Yeah, once you get 
like once you get kind of rolling, once you figure out the, the rhythm of the level, you can generally just kind of keep moving. And I like levels that have that. And a lot of these bonus levels have not had that. And a lot of the later things in Lost Levels in general have not had that. So I feel really good about that in this level. Like, there have definitely been times where I've messed up a little bit and had to, you know, and had, like, interruption there. I think what I want to do is that. Nope. <laughs> nope, not quite. This is going to be really frustrating, because I hate springboards. Okay, we could do this. I believe in... I believe in me. <laughs> that had to happen right there. That had to happen right there. I don't think I could do that again if I tried. Although again, I almost got on top of that uh, little block palace thing. And I really want to emphasize how weird momentum in this game is. Am I supposed to just jump over that? I don't feel like I can land on it if I'm jumping like that. level was a lot of fun. I didn't like the little spring jump at the end, but it's not as bad as it seemed to be. Overall, that was probably my favorite bonus level so far. Okay. This is obviously reminiscent of 8-3, um, with the castle background, um, and the Bullet Bills and Hammer Brothers. We haven't gotten to the Hammer Brothers yet, but they're in the intro, so one can assume. what that was for. <sighs> that looks awful. Okay, uh, save and continue. Let's do this. I have a feeling this is just going to be another life dump like level one, or level uh, D1 was. Brothers only throw one hammer when they and when they jump until they hit the ground again. So that's the trick is to basically make sure that you get the momentum to jump over them as they get on the screen. Like right there I did not tap the right momentum. So dead. I think if I could have dodged a little bit longer, I might have been okay there, but overall that was not good. That was bad. Let's just keep going. And then we're gonna do... Let's get all the blocks on screen. Get as forward as we can. Crap. There's one more than I thought. But there's only one Hammer Brother, so I may have had a chance. Okay, so it looks like it's by the bush. That's actually... Like, I may have to start just, like, figuring that out earlier. Let's get all the bullet bills off screen. Make sure that's not a thing, and then... 
just get past that. Okay, so that is the edge. That should make this doable. Basically, you just have to jump over that first one when he gets close enough. fire so often. This looks awful. This also looks awful. And there's nothing you can do there unless he jumps. Unless you get very lucky and just thread the needle on those jumps. Yeah. This is one of those where, like, if I could figure out where a second power-up is so I could get through, or so I could get fire, this level suddenly becomes much different. Even just having a mushroom. Even just having a mushroom going into this right here would make it a completely different experience. And I really just need to stop fussing around and just go. Because if I can just go, I should be able to get over him as he spawns. Theoretically. He's far enough away it might not be possible. Because he's on the other side of the wall. It'd be mid, uh... Be relying on the momentum from the, uh, springboard. Which is not <laughs> reliable. That was a mistake. <laughs> well, I got better momentum that time. A little bit too much rightward momentum. Well, it screwed up that one. That was just dumb luck, and then bad luck. There's gonna be a lot of that. <laughs> There's just gonna be a lot of that this time, I think. Unfortunately. There's just so many hammers on screen that move so quickly, you really can't react to every single one as they come out. Especially with how much the Hammer Brothers move around in uh, Lost Levels. So it makes it really down to... You have to go in with a plan, and take your shot when you see it, and you have to read it well enough, that was just a bad jump, that you can get in. Um, which means it kind of comes down to luck. <laughs> I have no idea how I got through that. But that's kind of what I've been saying this whole time. It was gonna take. Oh, seriously? If this is the end. Oh my god, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the end, and I'm pretty sure I had it. Okay. 
So, like most of the other stuff, it really comes down to just... Stupid hidden block. <laughs> Trying to thread the needle there. Did not get the right angle. Okay. Yeah, he, that case spawns a little lower than a lot of the other ones, too. It's weird how hard that first jump is to actually make. Because you have to... That uh, first bullet just throws off the timing on where you should jump. And results in just hitting the edge. take it. <laughs> uh, having all those bullets on screen despawned the Hammer Brother. <laughs> there were too many sprites on screen already. Okay, there we go. That bullet almost hit me. Okay, D4. Let's see if this castle is as bad as 8-4, which, uh, if you have not watched my other videos, took an hour to beat. And involves a crazy maze. Okay. Uh, gotta do that while the fireball's up. Fireballs move a little faster, it seems like. But I think you can go right away. Yep. That's good. Uh, to make that for, or that jump, though, you do have to do... So this one you have to wait. This one you have to land on that single block and make the jump. <laughs> okay. So this is a rehash of... 8-4 with slightly different things and uh, the maze is different or non-existent. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> if this is a different maze, that's going to be really annoying. I think I'm in trouble. I don't think I have enough room to make that jump. Yeah. Got to get a running start. So in the original, you had to, like, jump to, like, space back here to make the jump, which is similar to what you have to do here. But you have to wait in this one, which is slightly different. I don't remember that fire bar being there like that. That jump is the same and is still frustrating. <laughs> um... If you are not familiar with Mario 1 physics, landing on a single block and doing a long, keeping your running speed and jumping off of it like that is not easy. Um, I've mentioned that a couple times now. I was not paying attention. I was paying attention to the fireballs and not the uh, fire bar there. So I think if I just hold left, I sh or hold to the left, I should be okay there. Um, so that is possibly the most annoying thing that this game has done to date. <laughs> um, I've mentioned how the Hammer Brothers, uh, there's a spot right as they fall that you can, like right after they spawn, as they're falling, they throw one hammer and you can jump through that, thread the needle. Um, that Hammer Brother 
that entire time that you would normally be able to do that, you are going through the animation to come out of the pipe. Apparently I need to wait on that one. Not enough disc or not enough height. This is where all the lives are going. <laughs> Landed too close to the edge. Okay. This is going to be another one of those that is uh, probably going to take a while. We'll see how long it is. Part of the problem with the last one was it was very long and heavy. Point. Um, and that's why eight four took. Um, of the slow motion fall there. Should probably make sure I'm not actually sitting in one place too long because um, the timer actually did become a factor when I was playing A4. Again, I don't know how long this is. mistake. <laughs> okay. Through the first section. So we're gonna wait here. That piranha plant was a problem. That was really lucky. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Um, this is probably not actually, yeah. Okay, so that is a very tight, long jump. Good to know. That's really tight. Did not listen to my own advice there. Um, I don't think I said it out loud, but basically my thought was you have to you want to wait until he jumps and then go. The problem I was running into that was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, the problem I was running into was the fact that um, I was waiting too far to the left, and so the piranha plant spawned. <laughs> fish. Okay. Yeah, that was a little too close, actually. I honestly, I got really lucky last time on that, and I am slightly upset with myself that I didn't make it past that next jump. The good news is this doesn't actually feel as bad as eight, um, so far. Like, it has a lot of the same tight jumps, but they feel more straightforward. The There's more of an, an easy rhythm to it. It still comes down to some really tight execution on some of this, but there's none of those like weird backwards jumps which was one of the main things I was struggling with on 8-4. 
There we go. Huh. Okay, that's actually more complicated than I thought. And not something I'm looking forward to. I was really distracted by that first fire bar there. I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, so I'm not sure if I can spawn that plant before I do the jump, which means that the plant is always going to be there when I jump. Which means I need to do a pipe jump. Or a pipe lip jump. Where you land on the lip, the very edge of the pipe. Like this. Like that. <laughs> Which is very, very challenging to do when you're getting all that momentum. I actually timed that right. I just didn't get to the far enough right. This is. <laughs> So if I'm right about that Prana Plant jump, I rescind my statement about A4. Actually, that, that actually felt pretty good, like, movement-wise. I actually... Like, there wasn't a lot of delay there. It felt very fluid. Uh, the lava also felt very fluid. Very, also very hot. Getting these to line up after that first jump is almost impossible, it feels like. Like getting the fire bar and the fireball matched up. Okay, yeah, that... The way that I was moving there felt really good. I didn't really have to stop. That is crap. <laughs> that was a stupid hitbox that should not have hit me. That hammer was literally under the, the plane of the ground. That makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> In the words of my uh, eight-year-old self, the game is cheating. That is phenomenal. I'm also just going to say, for the record, right now, if this level has a checkpoint, which I highly doubt it does since nothing in lost levels has, or in uh, bonus levels has, if somehow this has a checkpoint and I reach it, I will be making a save state at that point to basically just make my lives infinite. I was kind of expecting to have to go over there. I'm also expecting this to be a trap. Nope, it's not a trap. Okay. can't tell if it's actually a checkpoint or not. It, there's no way it is. Okay. 
But that whole last section feels doable. Like, getting the timing on that fireball jump is actually going to be really hard. But outside of that, the, the Bowser section is basically skippable. I'm actually really curious if that uh, will let you... Or if there's like a mushroom up there or something. Because if there is, then I want it. <laughs> but I don't feel like it's worth... It, since there's not a checkpoint there, <laughs> I'm assuming, uh, I don't think it's worth taking the risk to check. my fault also. Yeah, ultimately, I want to know if that's actually checkpoint, so I'm taking a death there, so I'm getting to continue now. I'd hate to have the good run uh, when I have one life left, and I will probably, until I figure out one way or the other, I will probably not be uh, trying at one life. I will probably just uh, take a purposeful death to get the, to trigger the continue like I just did. See if we can do this. Holy crap. Still don't know if it was a checkpoint. <laughs> don't care. Oh, oh hey, there's... I keep forgetting there's, like, power-ups in this game. It's weird. <laughs> okay, Mark. I hope you're happy. <laughs> um, that was actually really fun. I actually like the bonus levels better than the last section of boss levels. Except for uh, C3 the wind level. This was actually a lot of fun. Um, I felt like there was a lot more fluidity to a lot of those stages, a lot more move, like, a lot less of those cheap shots and a lot more spots where you can just keep your momentum going. And there were some cool tricks to it still. There were still some very challenging parts, but it wasn't like this... It just felt better. I know that's not really super descriptive, but I think I've pretty much covered that as I've gone. And the timer really says should say a lot, so... Like... I was really nervous about doing these levels partially because I didn't want to spend another hour on one stage. Like, 8-4 was literally... It took an hour. I had to pause and cheat by looking up how to get through the maze. And I had to use save states to avoid doing the first section over and over again. Like, I didn't like doing that. I don't like doing that. I did it more often in my early videos, and I feel like it's kind of cheap. If I, I feel like it kind of cheapens the experience from something of me, like, really playing the game to me cheating at the game. And... I tried to do it in as fair a way as possible. It's not like I do like a, a save state every screen or something like that and just throw myself at it. Um, 
this one I felt, or, you know, in Mario Lost Levels, I felt like there should have been a checkpoint there. It did not feel fair, and I feel like in a modern version of that game, it would have a checkpoint there. Um, so I don't feel terrible about it. I don't like the fact that I did it still. But I really just wanted to beat the game. And this kind of made me feel much better about that, because that was the only stage that I had to do that. Like, I was, this was a little, this one was a little shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting, like, one more section in between, or at the end, which ended up, I think, just being that little coin trail thing. But, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, excursion in Lost Levels. Uh, Mario 2 videos are already starting to go up as well. Uh, I am planning on doing all of Lost Le or all of uh, Mario All Stars. I'm not going to do Mario World, even though it's on this cartridge. Um, but that would be exactly the same game. <laughs> uh, Mario 2 and 3 are the ones that I am, or well, still longer, but games that I'm very familiar with, so I'm not super worried about it, and especially with the way the continue system works in this, I'm feeling much better about it. Like, especially uh, Mario 2, which I also ended up, that I wasn't going to redo all of them, but I'm planning on, and I may still not do Mario 3, but I'm definitely redoing Mario 2 because that was the other one I save scummed with uh, save states uh, to get through World 7. And I feel like I, could, I want to actually just get through it legit this time. So, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed Lost Levels. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.